Well good afternoon and welcome to uh, Ed's Orchids. Now I've got uh, three Paphia Pedlums here that need uh, need repotting. They're, they're only small and probably, uh, what, I don't know, probably quarter grown, something like that. And there's a Hung Sheng Eagle, a Rothschildianum and the other one has no uh, label on it. So uh, that's got missed somewhere. Anyhow, these need repotting before the uh, before the warmer weather comes, so I'll start on those. And now these are like this because I haven't touched them for ages. They had absolutely no roots on them. You know, you get this if you ignore or overwater your paffia pedlums. And uh, I've had so many paffia pedlums that uh, sometimes I forget when I've watered them. And if I give them too much water, it's going to kill the roots off. So I don't know these of any roots, if they've got any at all, but we'll soon find out. Well I've just checked the beginning of this video and I've made a right blooper. Uh, when I was uh, taking the three Paphia Pedlums out of the pots, I must have moved the camera a bit and I've got all the pictures up in the top right hand corner of the video but eventually it does come back so uh, I do apologize for anybody watching for my mistake and uh, I'd better make sure we've done that again well this first one is a well the one I don't know what it is so uh, let's just take that I don't need small pots probably been in here about three or four months. I don't know whether this is a new leaf come up or whether it's one that's been there quite some time. But let's see if there's any roots at all. Well it's got three hard roots, no soft ones, so that Giving this one a new, uh, looks like it's a new root tip growing there. So that's doing okay. So uh, we'll put that on one side. There's no soft roots on it, I don't think. No. And it looks like it's putting on a bit of growth. Yeah, there's a soft one there. So we'll just get the scissors. Give that a cut. It. Yeah, and that's doing okay, I think. It'll do much better when I've uh, put some new bark in it. This one is uh, Hung Sheng Eagle. It's a cutting off a big plant I used, well, it's a division of a very big plant I used to have. Then I'll let go. I've let so many go, it's unbelievable. This is totally wet through, which is wrong. Uh, that is a rootstock, which had a cutting from there, a cutting from there, and a cutting from there. Uh, what's it like for roots? Yep, it's got one root there and one root there. Not there. Nothing soft, but kept far too wet. So all this will get thrown away and they'll get some new. Well that's the Ung Sheng Eagle. And this one I'm almost convinced is a Rothschildianum. And this has been a nightmare for two or three years. And it's still a nightmare. Absolutely nothing. One root there that's not actively growing. Another little one just shooting out from there. So uh, we'll bang all these in some fresh bark. We'll just check for mealybug. No, nothing like that. And this has been in coconut husk and I've watered it too much. See, 
There's water coming out as I squeeze it. Ah oh dear. You live and learn, but after all these years you'd think I'd know better, wouldn't you? But evidently not. So I'm going to give them bark. Uh, there's a few grow stones. There's a few uh, limestone chippies in there. And there's uh, charcoal, horticultural charcoal. So we're going to mix all those together. And this is what they're going in. Probably a bit too much here, but uh, you can always find somewhere for it. to rotule the arm up first. Shouldn't take long of this because they're only small plants. Let's make sure the bottom of the plant's covered. One, and this is the uh, Hung Sheng Eagle. down so it's not moving around. I'll sprinkle a bit on top to make sure the bottom of the leaves are covered. And we'll give this a watering and uh, where's the label for it? Yeah we've got a label for that one. And this is the uh, unnamed one, and I haven't got a clear pot. I've ordered some, but uh, they haven't arrived yet. Just six millimetre clear pots for these, big enough for them. Keeping my thumb on top to hold it down while all the uh, all the bark goes down. Press it down, yep, and that's nicely covered. So that's those three done. Well, that's my job's done in the greenhouse for today. I've nothing else to do in here. And uh, thank you very much for watching. And uh, keep my fingers crossed, so I keep your fingers crossed as well. That. Uh, they start growing some nice roots and make nice plants. Uh, it's about time they did start growing. I'm sure a lot of you have had trouble with uh, with this problem with Paphia pedlums. But uh, we'll see how they go anyhow. So thanks very much for watching. It's only a short video I know. But uh, thank, thank you so much. And uh, thanks to all my uh, subscribers. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.